From RVA to nearly half the world away, an ambulance packed with supplies from healthcare systems across the Commonwealth will soon head to Ukraine as Russia continues its assault on the country. On your side at 6 tonight, Desiree Montilla breaks down the big donation. <laughs> Boxes of donated medical supplies from healthcare systems across the Commonwealth will pack this ambulance, donated by Richmond Ambulance Authority, to help Ukraine. This is a wonderful opportunity to have something that we are no longer going to be using continue to be put to good use. This donation is part of a nationwide effort called U.S. Ambulances for Ukraine. Following the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by Russia in February, as it was pointed out, my seven-year-old daughter, Lily, asked me, you know, what, what could be done to, to deal with the suffering, to help with the suffering. An idea Chris Manson turned into reality. And on March 29th, that first ambulance uh, was put on a 747-800 aircraft out of Chicago O'Hare. And once that happened, the Ukrainian government, some NGOs, um, and others saw that. They saw the quality of the ambulance. They saw that it could be done. Since then, 18 ambulances and two tons of medical supplies have been taken to Ukraine. Manson says this ambulance will likely go to a community in the middle of Ukraine. It's been the victim of uh, cruise missile strikes, drone strikes. And be used to transport the wounded. And then you can sell the medic working around, so they'll take, they'll take full advantage of the size of the ambulance. This, in so many ways, represents kind of the heart of who we are as Americans. U.S. Senator Mark Warner and city leaders left messages on the ambulance, an effort Senator Warner and others believe will make a life-saving difference. It will literally save human lives. The contribution that's being made today will be put to good use to save lives. The ambulance will be here at Richmond Ambulance Authority for people to sign until November 9th. The ambulance and the medical supplies will start their journey to Ukraine on November 10th. On your side in Richmond, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News. Thanks, Desi.